Hello there. This is Henry, the team leader for Hot Homes of Samson Properties. And today we're going to answer the question of how much money, how much cash in your bank do you actually need in order to purchase a house? So most people are already familiar with down payment. A lot of times people hear 20% as the amount of down payment you need, but I think with a lot of education that's happening out there, people do realize that they can put down less than 20% in order to buy a house. I believe at current, the lowest for conventional loan is 3.5%, but there are other loan products that allow you to put 0% down. However, whenever you have things like that, there are usually some additional costs associated with it. So it will be fairly expensive for you in order to do that, but it's certainly possible. But on top of that, there are things called closing costs. So when you purchase a house, just like the same as when you purchase an item at a store, there are usually taxes and additional fees that get tacked onto it. Well, there's no different in real estate. There's an amount of money that goes to pay off the lawyers, county government, um, state governments, and as well as the title companies and a lot of other things that need to transfer. It's a pretty complicated um, process on the whole, but it's not something that you necessarily have to deal with directly. That's what you have us for. So for closing costs, you want to allocate about three to four percent of whatever purchase price that you were thinking about. Now that's going to be in addition to whatever down payment that you're going to be putting. Now in addition to that, you'll need some money for earnest money deposit. You can think of that as a security deposit. That's going to be when you make an offer on a home and say, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, this is how serious I am about it. If I withdraw the contract for no reason, get cold feet, whatever it might be, then this money is yours to keep. And that money is usually 1% to 2% of the purchase price of the house. But you get to determine how much that you put down. And that's what you also have an agent for to help navigate that aspect of it. Fortunately, Whatever you put down for your earnest money deposit gets subtracted from the closing costs, and you only have to submit the earnest money deposit once you get your offer accepted. Now beyond that, you also wanna budget in for moving costs, furniture, renovations. Almost every single house that's out there is gonna need some amount of work, so you wanna make sure that you have some budget to take care of some of those things, especially the ones that will be very invasive to take care of once you're moved in. Now a lot of times, people focus on whatever that big scary number that they can qualify for, whatever that comes down to. However, we have a little bit of a different approach. We like to encourage clients to think about their current payments, so what they might be paying in rent or whatever obligations you have, and compare that with how comfortable you are. Are you comfortable with the same amount of payments? Do you think that you can do more? Do you need to do less? And factor that in because beyond buying a house, you need to make sure that the house and the payments that you're gonna be making fit the lifestyle that you want. So rather than focusing on the big scary number, you wanna think about what monthly figure that you want to stay within. And that's actually gonna be a much more accurate version and a better way for us to make sure that we don't go over budget when you do purchase. Now we'll go over what goes into those monthly payments in another video, but for the time being, you can consider the down payment costs plus the closing costs and the only other fee that you can also factor in might be inspector fees, but those will usually range from $300 to $750 or more depending on the size of the house. But again, that's something that we can do on a case-by-case -case basis once you reach out to us and we can get a better sense of what kind of house you're looking for. So thank you so much for watching this video and we look forward to catching you on the next one. Take care.